Hey, what's up, John? Um, for this demonstration, uh, with the exception of one thing I tweaked, this is pretty much the original way the trick was done, but I did manage to figure out how to not only take the aspect I tweaked, but also put it between two, two different spectators' hands. So, um, for purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use an empty box as one of the spectator's hands. And I first have the spectator choose a card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my wife choose a card. So tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. So we're going to look at this. And the reason I have the spectator choose their card first is because I try to get four of the same exact card out of the deck. So, by the way, this is a regular deck. This is examinable. And so let me finish this. So, because I just didn't want them to pick some of the cards. So you can use any four cards you want with these. So, first things first, those are the two black aces, right? And you have the, what, the ten of spades here? Oh, okay, so I'm going to take the ten here, and I'm going to put it between these two black aces. And just so you know, it still is the ten. That leaves, these would be the two red aces, correct? So, what I'm going to do is, this is where I'd have spectator number one. I would position them next to each other, and I would count out these two. And I would say to spectator one, I'm going to do something cool with these aces. I'm going to give you both of them, and you're going to hold them between your hands. And this is where I would have the spectator hold that. Ace of hearts, ace of diamonds. That's the order. And they would basically hold them between their hands. Second spectator actually picks these up, counts to make sure there's three. Has the Ten of Spades still as their card in that case. And I would have, then have them position themselves literally right next to the spectator. And they would take the box. And what I would do is I'd pass their hands over one another. And then I would say, okay, I'm going to magically take your Ten and place it here. And if you look, the Ten actually does disappear. Second spectator then opens their hands. Where they find a card in between. It's Ten of Spades. And just so you know, um, I actually managed to figure out how to do that with an actual signed card. So, that being said, I hope you liked it, man. If you want to know how to do it, let me know. I'll give you a tutorial on it. It's really simple. Well, not simple, but it's something that's right up your alley.